When a Panda Finds Love, Part 2. As you know, the panda bear is not particularly romantic. So imagine the surprise of, what are you doing? I'm drawing a panda. But why? Because this is a story about a panda in love. But why? What did we agree upon? Never mind. Should I continue? Please do. The story of Punchy's descent into such an unfortunate predicament began with a stroll through a particularly thick bamboo field. It was here, as Pun Pun was pausing for a brief afternoon snack, that he found himself confronted by a small, but vocal, frog named Reginald. Just what do you think you're doing in my bamboo field, Mr. Panda? What was that? What do you mean? That voice. What voice? The voice you just used. What do you think you're doing in my bamboo field? Mr. Panda. What? That was the end of the phrase. Mr. Panda. Well, why the voice? What voice? Okay. Your bamboo field, Pun Pun repeated, breaking into a laugh. That's a good one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be on my way. Reginald the Frog, enraged by Punchy's obvious lack of respect, hopped directly under the panda's snout. How dare you! Do you have any idea who I am? Okay, seriously, what is that? Okay, seriously, what is what? Why do you keep stopping? Because you're being weird! Err! Mm. And unusual. Okay, fine. Honestly, I didn't think you'd be able to capture the essence of the Frog King. The essence? Yes. Reginald is a very complex character. You know, sometimes when you say things, I get confused. It's understandable. It was because you sound like you're being serious Usually. when you're really being Dumb. Wow. Hurtful. So this is the thanks I get for being nicer to you. For not telling you how awful you are. Which you are, by the way. You are awful. But no, instead I choose to focus on the positive aspect. I try so hard not to let this turn into the mess that last time turned into. I guess I could try the silly voice. Silly. I guess I could try the awesome voice. Okay. That's what it is. It's awesome. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it then. I'm Reginald J. Fredericton, king of this bamboo field. That'll do, pig. So glad you asked me to do this. Next time on When a Panda Finds Love, our intrepid hero comes face to face with the cold-hearted she-panda herself, Miranda the Panda! Are you doing my overdub? No.